So let's go back to that playoffs. You guys had a win over the Giants. I don't want to remember that game. And then a huge win over the Cowboys. And then obviously you fell in the NFC Championship game to those Falcons. What did you learn about your team from that process? Uh, I learned that our team is very resilient. We got a lot of grit. We're, we're a very tough football team. Um, we, didn't, we didn't get some, uh, some good fortune all the way throughout the playoffs. Uh, we were plagued with an injury bug. And, uh, you know, I think that's, that's probably what, what held us back. Max? You know, I uh, stick up for Aaron Rodgers on this show all the time. Yeah, and Molly you do. is sitting yeah, there telling me I that not only, is Tom, not only is Tom Brady greater, which on the resume you can't argue, but, uh, but that he's actually better. He's the better player. Please explain to Molly why your guy is actually the better football player all, than Tom I'm all Brady. Ears. I, th I thought you said you were a fan of Aaron Rodgers. Now you want me to argue why he's better? Uh, I'm all ears. <laughs> Tell me why he's better than Tom Brady and all those rings. Um, if you can. Oh, you know, Brady does I, 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 I want to give a fair assessment, and I don't want to shoot myself in the foot. I don't know Tom Brady very well. We're not even on the first name basis. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I haven't played with him, but I, but I know Aaron, and I, I know how smart he is. He's a great guy. He's a uh, great football player, very athletic. Some of the things I've seen him do, I've never seen anyone do before. Um, so that would be my argument for why he's better. All right. Ty, that's a great argument. Can I ask you, when you say you've never seen anyone do it before, is, is, is Tom Brady included in anyone? Because it seems to me that Rodgers can do things that Brady can't. Yes, uh, he, he is included in that. Like I said, I, I, haven't seen him, I haven't seen him play. But being on the field with Aaron, um, some of the things that he does as far as his snap count, his no-look passes, the way he is in the huddle, the way he, he thinks about things, he sees things, he draws things up. You've seen Brady play. <laughs> That's a lie. You've seen uh, Brady play. You haven't seen all the, you haven't watched the Super Bowl. Not you know the last I, I, I watched the Super Bowl, but I think there's I think you get a different perspective when you're on the field with him of and, and and you watch him work. And uh, you know, obviously he's he's a great football player. I'm not going to take anything away from him. But being on the field with Aaron, like I said, I haven't been on the field with Tom Brady before. Been on the field with Aaron and just playing next to him and and watching him and and, and how how he does his craft. It's just it, it's amazing. Okay, can we move on from the boring football stuff now and get to the important <laughs> stuff? I, I love that debate, so, <laughs> but if it's boring to you, Dominic, we can. I mean, it's terrible. Let's talk about important stuff. Ty just got married recently. Congratulations. Oh, yes, Congratulations. thank you. Congratulations. That's the important thing right yes. there. Yes. Right. So, w which one of your family members got drunk and embarrassed themselves at the reception? Spill uh, it. <laughs> Spill it. Um... I don't want to put any. You see, you, you're gonna get me in trouble. Uh, you Ty's know never coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the wedding moved so fast uh -huh. um, for for me and Remy, my wife, that we didn't really even get to enjoy the wedding. We're, we didn't. Get, we had we sat down to eat for like 30 seconds. We couldn't eat, and then we're up dancing and we're taking pictures and we're doing this and we're doing that. And next thing you know, the wedding's over. So the wedding was pretty much for everybody else. But congratulations on that. And just Listen, some as you, you as you go along right. in the relationship, <laughs> things, will, go things well. will slow down. <laughs> things will slow down for you like the game in the NFL oh. as a rookie. It goes very fast and things slow <laughs> down. Just give it some time. <laughs> no, the wedding until you have advice. children, then it speeds up again. Oh. Let's get back to you, though. So You're obviously right making a transition here from wide receiver to running back. What's the most challenging part of that? How's the training uh, changed, et cetera? Most challenging thing has been the, the pass protection. But I know I'm going to get better at it. I'm going to continue to get better at it. And just uh, the mental aspect of the game. You know, you're, as a receiver, you're never asked to pass block. Mm -hmm. You're never asked to take on a blitzing safety or a blitzing linebacker with a head start. Um, that's something you, you're never asked to do. So then to have to learn to do that in the middle of the season, it, it was tough. Um, learning defenses, defensive fronts and techniques and, you know, gap protections and, you know, what the defense is trying to do. I'm learning all that stuff on the fly. So I was playing on instinct a lot of the time. But now I'm starting to get it. Now that I have the time and to, to put to put my you know my efforts into no, learning and knowing that stuff. I know Dominique is bored by some of these uh, who's better <laughs> nerd sports fans football <laughs> questions, Rodgers or Brady. But I got another one for you, <laughs> Rodgers or Favre. Who's the greatest Green Bay Packers quarterback? Uh, There's a correct to... answer, by the way. <laughs> Again, I'm gonna have to say Aaron Rodgers. I mean, that's... correct. Yeah, I'm going to have Correct. to say Aaron Rodgers. All right, good. Now, so we're, nice answer. Nice and short. Wait, we can I, move I on. I had a follow-up. Oh, why no, Rodgers? No, Molly, no. <laughs> Is it just because you played with him on the field? 
Follow up, Ag Again, because I play with him on the He's field. And that is my teammate, and I want him to keep throwing me and handing me the ball. Oh, there we go. There's always an agenda. Okay, Dominique, all you. All right, cool. So I, I also play the NFL, and I carry the sickle cell trait like you. Can you talk about uh, how that plays into you preparing for games and participating in games? Do you think at all about what could happen while you're playing while carrying the sickle cell trait? Uh, I don't think about it too much. Um, it's something that doesn't really present itself all the time, and it's, it's different for everyone who has it. Um, you know, for me, though, I make sure that I'm fully hydrated all the time. Um, you know, if you want to do research about what sickle cell trait is, you know, you can do that. I don't want to go into too much depth about it. But, you know, as long as I'm hydrated, I train, and, you know, I, I, I don't let it have control over, over my life. You know, I've made it this far, so I'm, I'm not worried about it. One thing that I found interesting, I was reading an article about your relationship with your mom and how close you are. Can you talk a little bit about that and how she was involved in your football career early <laughs> on even? Yeah, uh, you know, ever, ever since I told my mom I wanted to be in the NFL, oh. that has been her focus is to make sure that as she would say. Her, how old were you when you when you told her you wanted to be in the NFL? I think I was I was six and okay. I, asked my, I asked my mom if I, she could sign me up when I was seven. Uh -huh. I don't know why that was the number. Um, and she, uh, she signed me up and you know, ever since that day, she, her focus is to make sure that I can achieve my dreams. I have everything that, that I need to make sure that I can do what I want to do. And uh, she taught me how to get in the three-point stands. She, I love it. She taught me how to be tough and have a mental attitude and be the first one to get up after getting tackled or being in a pile. So she, she's played a big role in, in, in my success.